Most people think Linux is completely safe from malware, but guess what? That's a myth. Even though Linux is considered more secure than other operating systems, it's not invincible. In this video, I'll show you a step-by-step -step guide on how to check if your Linux system is infected with malware and how to clean it if it is. Let's begin with the basics. First, open your terminal and type this command. Now we are checking the running processes on our system. The command you're seeing, ps, aux, grep, init, is used to find out whether a process named init is running on the system. If you notice any strange or unfamiliar init process in the list like systemd init or anything extra, it might be a sign of malware. However, if you only see something like sbin init or any other normal entry, it means the system is functioning properly. Step 2. List and review installed packages. Next, we check which software packages are installed on your system. For Arch Linux or Manjaro users, type colon pacman-q. This command pacman-q is used on systems like Arch Linux or Manjaro. Its purpose is to show what software is installed in your system along with a version number. For example, here we can see that the Libre Wolf browser is installed and its version is 118.0-1. Now you need to scroll through this list to check if there are any unknown or suspicious packages installed, such as something named Fixbin or Patchbin. If you find anything that you don't recognize, it could be a sign of malware. Step 3. Install and run ClamAV Antivirus. Yes, Linux users can and should scan for viruses once in a while. One good option is ClamAV, a free and open source antivirus for Linux. To install it on Ubuntu or Debian, sudo apt install ClamAV. Viruses are less common on Linux systems, but that doesn't mean they're impossible. Today, we're installing an antivirus called ClamAV. First, we run the command colon quote sudo apt install ClamAV. This installs ClamAV on your system. After that, we type sudo fresh clam. This command updates ClamAV with the latest virus definition. But here, we see a warning. Your ClamAV installation is outdated. This means your ClamAV version is old and you should update it to detect the latest threat. Now, let's start scanning the entire system with this command, sudo clamscan dash r. The dash r means recursive scan, which checks every folder and subfolder. The scan starts from the bin directory and looks for known malware signatures. If any virus or suspicious file is found, clamav will show its name and location. And finally, scan your system, sudo clamscan dash r dot. The dash r means recursive, so it will check all subfolders. This scan might take a while, but it's worth it. Check auto start and cron tab for hidden scripts. Sometimes malware hides itself in your startup scripts, so it runs every time you boot. First, check your auto start directory. Step four, malware often sets itself up to run in the background automatically as soon as the system starts without the user even noticing. To check for this, we use the following command ls base config slash auto start. This command looks inside the system's auto start folder which contains files that are set to run automatically when the system boots. Here we can see a file named gdemon.desktop. If you're not familiar with this name or it looks suspicious, it's important to open the file and see what commands it's set to run. Every .desktop file contains instructions for launching a program at startup. If a hacker has hidden malware on your system, they might create a fake .desktop file here Something like something.desktop to run the malware automatically during system startup. Step five, monitor network activity, optional advanced step. If you wanna go deeper, monitor your network for unusual traffic. Use tools like netstat-tulpn if top nethog. These tools help you see which programs are sending or receiving data. If a random process is connecting to an unknown IP address, that's a big red flag. Step six, what if you're infected? If you confirm malware on your system, here's what to do. Disconnect your computer from the internet immediately. Back up your personal files, but not your installed packages. Reinstall Linux using a fresh ISO. Restore your files from the backup after scanning them separately. Never install the same suspicious packages again. Linux is powerful, but with great power comes great responsibility. Just because it's secure doesn't mean it's bulletproof. Be a smart user and your system will stay safe. Like this video if you learned something new. Subscribe for more Linux and cybersecurity tips.